I wanted to measure my current speed without putting my phone in danger. The easiest way I came across was using a GPS. To display the speed I used a 3 digit display. Using a small OLED display would also be a nice alternative. I picked a Teensy to control both GPS and display as it was the smallest microcontroller I had. If a GPS is connected via serial interface to a microcontroller, it just starts spouting out data. This information comes in the NEMA sentence format. Such a sentence starts with a header that describes what type of information it carries. The GPS tells us location, speed, time and many other useful things. Luckily we don't have to bother with this NEMA format and can just use the library to parse it. The three segment display has a common anode for each digit. This means we can only turn on one digit at a time. To create the illusion of all being on, we can switch between them at a rapid rate. I built a small enclosure out of plywood, but as I didn't have a smaller battery, it turned out a bit bulky. Without the heather connectors, the build would have been significantly smaller, but I didn't want to solder my teensy directly to the board. After testing it, I was shocked of how well it worked. Without any processing of the raw data, it had barely any noise. A small delay is to be expected as I run the GPS at 1Hz. This can be changed with the software of the producer. Normally, you would need a USB to SBI converter to hook the GPS up, but there is a small trick. You can hijack the USB to serial chip of the Arduino. The Arduino usually uses it to talk to the PC, but if you short ground to the reset pin, the processor is disabled and we can hook up the GPS to the RX and TX pins of the Arduino. Anyway, thanks for watching.